4 to the a plus 9 to the b equal to 7 and 8 to the a plus 27 to the b equal to 10. When we see this problem, the bases are equal, are similar. We can say 4 and 8. Yes, this 4 and 8 and 9 and 27. So we can say 4 is 2 squared. The a, 9 is 3 squared. The b equal to 7. And 8 is 2 cubed to the a plus 27 is 3 cubed to the b equal to 10. And by power rule, we know x to the m to the n equal to x to the n to the m equal to x to the m n. So here, we can switch m and n. Now, we can conclude. Let me call this one first equation, second equation. On first equation, we can conclude u to the a squared plus 3 the b squared equal to 7 and from second equation u to the a cubed plus 3 the b cubed equal to now I consider 2 to the a equal to for example r 2 to the b equal to s so here we can say oh let's consider x y where is this part it's better to work. X, Y. So I say X squared plus. Mm, oh, sorry. B, uh, X squared plus Y squared equal to 7. And here, X cubed plus Y cubed equal to 10. Now, in these types of problem, I consider some of them as S, product of them as B, X, Y. And from first one, uh, I should use some identity. Let me tell you. First identity we should use x plus y squared equal to x squared plus y squared because plus 2xy. So here, if we use this x plus y squared equal to x squared plus y squared plus 2xy, x squared plus y squared is 7 here. xy we know is p, e, we've defined x plus y is s here. So we conclude s squared equal to 7 plus 2p. Now let me erase these things. Next step, we want to consider this part x cubed plus y cubed. We have famous identity that x cubed plus y cubed equal to x plus y times x squared minus xy plus y squared. x cubed plus y cubed is 10 x plus y by definition is sum s, x squared plus y squared, x squared plus y squared is 7, minus xy, xy is product, 7 minus p. Now we conclude, n equal s times 7 minus p. So, here we can say 7s minus s. Okay, we can we can not expand calculate s in terms of p. So here, if we divide both sides by seven minus p, s equal to ten over seven minus. P. Now, if we replace it in first one, ten over seven minus p squared equal to seven plus two. So let me write ten over seven minus p squared equal to 7 plus 2p. Now, if we expand 100 and multiply by 7 minus p squared times 7 plus 2p squared, 7 plus 2. So by famous identity, we know x minus y squared equal to x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. So we conclude 100 equal to 49 minus 14p plus p squared times 7 plus 2p. Now, uh, uh, 100 equal. So 100 equal to 7 times 49, 3, 4, 3, plus 7 times this. Let me write minus 98p plus 7p squared plus 98p minus 28p squared plus 2pq. 
Now, if you take all things to one side, zero equal to two p cubed. This one, this one, negative 14 p squared. This one, this one will be canceled. And three, four, three minus 100 is two, four, three. Because you take 100 to right side, it will be two, four, three. So, sorry, this part, negative 28p squared plus 7 will be negative 21p squared. And I should change minus 243 to plus 243 because 343 minus 100 is plus 243. Now, here, the degree 3, one of the most useful ways to find at least one root. If you check p, 1, 0, negative 1, positive 1, negative 2, uh, positive 2. Negative 3 works. Why? Because if it's negative 3, let's check 2 times negative 3 cubed minus 21 times negative 3 squared plus 2 for 3 equal to 2 times negative 27 minus 21 times 9 plus 2 for 3. So it will be negative 54 minus 9 minus 8 plus 2 for 3. And if you check, it will be 13. Or two, and it will be cancelled this part and this part. So p equal to negative three works. Factorize this, and we can say one factor is p plus three. We want to create two p cubed. I place two p squared, and I have six p squared. Then minus twenty one, so minus twenty seven p, minus eighty one p. Then I should place plus 81 plus 2 for 3 equal. So the first term equal to 0. So p equal to 9, negative 3, or this one equal to 0. Let's check both cases. So from this one, p equal to negative 3. It's case 1, case 2. Let's analyze it in next page. p squared, 2p squared minus 27p, p squared minus 27p. Plus 81 equal to 0. So here I use quadratic formula that if I have ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0, then x equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So let's calculate here p is what? p is negative b, negative negative 27 plus minus square root of negative 27 squared minus 4 times a times c which is 81 all over 2a which is 2 times 2. now p is negative negative 27 27 plus minus square root of 27 is 3 cubed it will be 3 to the 6 7 2 9 minus 8 times 81 so we can do something 7 to 9 is 81 times 9 minus 81 times 8. So all over 2 times 2, which is 4. So it will be 27 plus minus. If you factor from 81, it will be 9 minus 8. And it will be 4. So it will be 27 plus minus 9 all over 4. 27 plus 9 will be 36 over 4. 27 minus 9 is 18 over 4. So we found two answers for p, p equal to 9, and 18 over 2, 4 is 9 over 2. Okay, now we have three answers for p. One of them, negative 3. Let me write negative 3, p equal to negative 3, p equal to 9, and p equal to 9 over 2. Now, Next step, I know s equal to 10 over 7 minus p. s equal to 10 over 7 minus p. So in this case, p is negative 3, it will be 10 over 10, 1. Here, if p is 9, s equal to 10 over 7 minus 9, which is 10 over negative 2, which is negative 5. If it is 9 over 2, s equal to 10 over 7 minus 9 over 2. 2, 10, 2, 14 minus 9, 5. And we divide by this 2, and s will be 4. Okay, so let's erase these things. And now 
in each case, I want fill x and y will be what? Because we know p is x, y, s is x plus y. And let me tell you something. Here, we know that x is 2 to the a, y is 3 to the b, so both of them should be positive. So x and y should be positive, so we conclude s should be positive, p should be positive. So this case will be bad, this case will be bad, I should take only this. x, y is 9 over 2, and x plus y is 4. So here I can say y is 4 minus x, take x to the right hand side. And here it will be x times y. y is 4 minus x equal to 9 over 2. Now, I should solve this. Let's simplify. At first, let's multiply by 2. Let me write the equation here and start from this part. x times 4 minus x equal to 9 over 2. And then we can say we multiply both sides by 2. It will be 2x times 4 minus x equal to 9. And then it will be 8x minus 2x squared equal to 9. And then I take all things to the right hand side. It will be 2x squared minus 8x is 9 equal to 9. So we should find x with the quadratic formula I told you here. x will be negative b, negative negative 8 plus minus square root of b squared, negative 8 squared, minus 4ac, 9, all over 2a, which is 2 times. So it will be 8 plus minus square root of 64 minus, minus 72, all over 2 times 2, 4. So here we will see discriminant is negative. We could also check before that discriminant here. Square root of negative number for real numbers is impossible. Okay, so, but in some problems, they say, for example, calculate x plus y, anything like this. Here, we reach this, and it's impossible. Okay, so if you wanted more problems, questions that are useful in math exam, more ideas, you can send a message to my WhatsApp number, and please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell, and like the video. Thanks, see you next time. Bye.